Uh, this is Lamont Wade Jr., and you're listening to Gym on Base. Welcome back to another episode of the Gym on Base show. We're here in Scottsdale, Arizona for the Giants Spring Training. I'm here with Lamont Wade Jr. Lamont, thanks for coming on. It's good to see you. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. So how's the spring going for you right now? Like, What's kind of your mindset in these final games before the season starts? Um, you know, just really just getting in the groove and getting in a good routine that you can take into the season, you know, and really at the plate just seeing, seeing good pitches and putting good swings on good pitches to hit and really get locking back in on your strike zone discipline and everything and just really coming out of these last couple of days healthy is my main goal. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're excited to see the season, but uh, who are you away from the game, though? Like, what kind of hobbies do you have? Are you watching TV shows? What's kind of your interest away from the field? Yeah, I like watching TV shows on Netflix. I'll binge watch something here and there, especially during the season, long season. Uh, I like playing ping pong with my family. Okay. Um, sometimes I go out and play ping pong in, at different places in different cities when we're on road trips and everything, so that's cool. But uh, mostly just hanging out with the family and just laying low and not just playing video games, honestly. Okay. Yeah. Do you put a little English on it then when you're playing ping pong? Oh, or? Yeah. oh yeah, put all that on there and, and uh, take, take it very serious. I actually just played Webby today earlier. Okay. Um, so, yeah, we like to have fun around here and play, play ping pong, so it's good. Is Webb good at ping pong, or is it, is it an unfair match then? It's or? an unfair matchup for me. You know, um, I'm too good for Webby, honestly, on that front. So uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let him talk more about it, but uh, for me, it's, it's definitely all me. Well, they had that ping pong place downtown in San Francisco. Yeah, is it still there? Is yeah. that, did you go there? It's still there. I've been there with my mom and dad once when they came into town. Um, my mom goes there every time she comes into town. So it's a great, it's a really cool spot, uh, a lot of fun. So, yeah, it's a good spot. Awesome. Yeah, I think the Warriors went there a few years ago. It's all clear, right? All windows? Yeah, all right? windows, all windows. It's a real nice spot. Well, you mentioned your mom. I know you have a really strong support system with your family. I've seen your parents out at the yard the last few seasons. Yeah. Uh, what did they do for a living? Uh, my dad is a retired postal worker, and my mom is still working at the postal service okay. downtown uh, at the main post office. They've been there their, their whole working career, so uh, that's what they do. They work night shifts. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, so that, that's a hard job, work at nights. Yeah, they work at night, and then they would come home and get me and my brother to school and, and then uh, take a nap while we're at school and then wake up and come get us and take us to practice wherever we had to go and uh, take us to tournaments on the weekend. So definitely grateful to the both of them for sure. And it's always good when they can come out and watch me play and um, come support our team. So it's always good. Well, it paid off. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely grateful to both of them for sure. We, I guess you could have get you could have gotten mad at them when you were younger, right? If the mail didn't come on time or a package. Oh, yeah, exactly. If there was ever a Christmas present that was in the mail, I always knew that I, I should have it first. So I should never have any problems. But no, we never had too much problems with the mail. They always had it on time, so it was good. And I think you have a brother, right, Jamal? Yeah. Any other siblings, or is it you and him? No, just me and him. Uh, he actually lives out here now, so uh, he's two years younger than me. We played together one year at the University of Maryland, so that was really cool. But, uh, yeah, so it's always good to see him when we come out here in spring training, uh, get to hang out with him a little bit. And, of course, during the season when we come out and play the D-backs, uh, he's always there and get to see him. So uh, it's good to have him out here on the West Coast. Is he a D-backs fan or does he support the Giants? No, or? no, he's definitely not a D-backs fan. He's, uh, he supports the Giants, you know, um, so, no, he's not a D-backs fan. Well, you're from uh, Baltimore, right? So who were your favorite teams and players growing up? Always a Ravens fan, you know, just a big Ravens fan, um, big Ray Lewis, Ed Reed guy. Um, Basketball-wise, we were big uh, college basketball fans with the Maryland Terps. Um, so definitely always a Terps fan, and that's one of the main reasons why I wanted to go there. I went there, my brother went there, my father went there. Wow. So, you know, I always kind of knew we was going to be Terrapins. So um, we were just big Ravens fans and Terrapins fans. Have you ever gotten to meet Ray Lewis yet? or I have not, actually. I have not got to meet Ray Lewis. That would be really cool, though. Well, have you gotten any, like, surreal advice, maybe, like, from Barry Bonds or any legends that you never thought you would meet that maybe because of the game you got to meet and come across? Oh, yeah, uh, Torrey Hunter, for sure, you know, always told me, you know, stay ready so you don't have to get ready, you know, um, just the kind of mindset with going up and down from the major leagues and minor leagues when I was with the Twins, you know, just always just making sure you're ready when your name is called because you never know when it's going to be called. And um, sure enough, that's been the case kind of up and down career, and you just got to know just – Always step on the gas and never really let go. So that was kind of my advice from Tory Hunter. Yeah. Well, do you have any favorite? Because you're a power hitter. So do you have any uh, power hitters that you, when you think of growing up, you kind of reflect on them? Oh, you always think about Barry Bonds. You know, um, just the home run king and um, you know, all the home runs he put out there in the, into into the bay. You know, it's always crazy. You look up there. I think it's like 91 or something right yeah. now. Almost near 100. Always, it's maybe 97 or something yeah. like that. And he's got like maybe 50 of them or something like that. So it's always crazy to think about that. Um, but, but definitely when you think about home run hitter, you think about Barry Bonds for sure. Well, I've had uh, McCovey Cove Dave on the show. He, he was a fun guest. Yeah. And I think you met him, right? Didn't he, he caught a ball, one of your splash hits and brought yeah. it back to you? He did. He, um, I think he got my first splash hit 
and um, he was able to get it. And it was actually when my mom and dad were in town. So we all met him at the after the game. He gave me the ball, and I gave him a couple bats, signed bats and a baseball. So we took a couple pictures. So it was a really cool experience to meet him, and it was I was very grateful that he was able to give me the ball back. So um, that was really cool. Does your mom and dad have the ball then? Or? Oh, yeah, they have the ball at their house, oh. yeah, for sure. Final question, who would you pick if you could have lunch with one uh, former player, would it be an NFL guy, baseball, basketball? If you could have lunch with one guy, who would it be? Um, honestly, it would probably be Kobe Bryant. Um, you know, Kobe, just to you know, just just pick his brain. You know, just because he's, he's had such a beautiful mind, yeah. uh, very smart, intelligent guy. Um, so just wanted to just probably have lunch with him, pick his brain about what his mindset on the court and off the court kind of thing. Yeah, awesome. Kobe. Well, Lamont, that's a great answer. It was it was really nice to meet you. Thanks for coming on, and uh, I'm excited to see you later on this year. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me.